iOS 7 is getting released today, and that means a bunch of things have moved around, so you don't get lost. Let's take a look at where they are now. If you want to search Spotlight, you now just pull down from the center of the screen, so you no longer have to swipe to the left of the home screen. Likewise, searching in Safari is completely different. You just type your search query into the URL bar instead of the bar to the right. When you're done, hit go and it'll search Google for you. Also in Safari, private browsing is no longer hidden away in the settings menu. Just hit your new tab page, hit the private button, and you will be switched over to private browsing mode so you can search for whatever it is you like to search for without having a search history or cache happening. Notification Center gets a huge overhaul as well. Uh, you can find your settings for that under your settings app in the Notification Center section. If you want to make it look a little bit like the old version, you just need to turn off the Today View and Today Summary, as well as all the calendar stuff, so you can kind of just get back to just the notifications and not the calendar in there. Music controls are a little different as well. From your lock screen, you can access them by pulling up the Control Center, where you can start playing music from there. Likewise, you can do the same from your home screen as well. The music app is also slightly changed around, so if you want to get rid of that radio button at the bottom, you'll have to head into the More section and drag the icons around to organize your tabs back to how they were before. And Reminders is also a little different. Instead of having to hit a plus icon, you'll just simply tap the next line to add anything you'd like there. Multitasking is also completely different, so instead of double tapping the home button and holding down icons to force quit apps, you simply double tap and swipe up. If you want to delete something in messages, that's also a little different. You'll hold down the message, hit the more tab, and then select any messages you want to delete. If you're a fan of the list view and calendar, that's also moved. Uh, just hit the magnifying glass icon to get that back. And finally, the cellular data setting has moved to be more prominent in the settings app, and it also has a bunch more information now, so you can set your cellular data settings on an app-by-app -app basis, you don't actually go over on your data plan. And that's it for the big changes, head over to Lifehacker for a full post on all of the changes in iOS 7.